Well, in less than one week, the number of COVID-19 cases in the U.S. went from 18 million to 19 million. And health experts across the country are stepping up the efforts to vaccinate people against the virus. Today, CVS will be giving out shots to some of our most vulnerable loved ones. At Channel 2, Sophia Ojeda is live at a pharmacy in Rosenberg with those details. Good morning, Sophia. Good morning, Amy and Owen. Beginning today, hundreds of pharmacists and technicians will be headed to more than 2,000 long-term care facilities across the state, from Amarillo to Lubbock to Dallas, here in Houston, to vaccinate nursing home residents and workers there. It's approximately 275,000 individuals will be vaccinated through this time, which is pretty impressive in one state. Today, CVS will begin to give out vaccines to nursing home residents and workers here in Texas, telling Channel 2 News it is now moving from a defensive stance against the coronavirus with its testing sites to an offensive attack, now being able to offer the vaccine. They plan to visit nursing homes a total of three times. The first time for this week will be the initial dose and that is for the residents and for the workers that will work at these locations. And then you can envision about three to four weeks uh, with predetermined schedules, we'll be back. And we'll do the second dose. That's the most important one because that's the booster. CVS also now in need of more workers to help in this vaccine process that will likely last for several more months. Uh, we're going to hire 15,000 people in combination of whether it's nurse practitioners, pharmacists, uh, technicians. And this phase, CVS says, is expected to last for the next 12 weeks. CVS also hopes to have the vaccine available to the general public sometime in the spring. Reporting live in Rosenberg, Sophia Ojeda, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Sophia.